Hello everyone. In this video clip, I am going to continue with the factorization for this type of uh, expression given. AX squared plus BX plus C. You will always have three terms, uh, the highest power X squared, followed by power 1X and followed by constant. So this one, uh, in the last video clip, we already learned when it is 1X squared. Now, in this video clip, we're going to learn what if A is not 1, it's other number. So what can we do about it? So without further ado, let's start. Now, let's see the first... How do we do for the first example, yeah? Now, for this one, same thing. We have first step. This is the second step. Third step. Okay. Fourth step. And the fifth step is about the same, but uh, there are some differences there. You look at the first term. Previously, it's only 1x squared. So no matter how you arrange your x, it doesn't really affect the sum in the middle. But now I have 2x squared. That means my factor will be 1 and 2. Luckily, it is only one pair of factor. So I can put 1x here, 2x at the back. But now I have... Uh, a problem, okay, when I go to the second part, the 10. What are the factors to get 10? It will be 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Now, I no longer can use the addition like what we have done in uh, the last video clip because it is not just 1 and 10 itself that form the number in the middle. It, it is the product of the factors from the x squared as well. Remember, our uh, the one in the middle is the result of the inner pair and the outer pair. In a previous video clip, our inner pair times with 1x, outer pair also times with 1x. Therefore, we can just concentrate on the number, the factors, and just plus them or minus them. But over here, in order for us to get the number in the middle, it is the combination, the product of the inner pair. That means you've got to multiply with the factors from the x. So in this case, we cannot just plus them directly like this. So what can we do? We have to use try and error method. How? Like this. Since we have only one pair of factors for x squared, so we just fix the position of 1x and 2x there. Now let's try with 1 and 10. Let's put it in there and check our inner pair and the outer pair. So 1 times 2x is 2x. x times 10 is 10x. Then what are we supposed to do with this? We are supposed to plus them, okay, because of this. We're supposed to plus them. So let's plus. Do we get 9? No. That means this arrangement is not correct. Don't just drop 1 and 10. Huh? We have to swap the position. The position is very important. Unlike the, beef, uh, unlike the example in the last video clip, it's 1x and 1x. I swap, I still get back the same number. But this time, no. See, my inner pair will now become 20x. My outer pair will become 1x. What are we supposed to do with this? We find the sum. The sum is more than 9, so definitely it's out. Therefore, my first factors, 110, can be cancelled off. Next, we try with 2 and 5. Let's put the 2 here, 5 there. Check the inner pair, 4x. Check the outer pair, 5x. What are we supposed to do with this? It's say plus. So when we plus 4x and 5x, do I get 9x? Yes, this is what we want. And since we plus it because they are the same sign, that means what sign do we want? You see over here? It's positive. You see the last step? It's positive. So both must be positive. So to get positive 4x is positive 2 times 2x. And x times 5, positive 5 gives us 5x. So now this will be the correct factorization. <coughs> okay. Next, 3x squared, first step. Think of how do I get, now x squared is always the same. So let's write x and x first. The only thing is the coefficient in front, 3. How do I get 3x squared? It's 1 and 3. 
So only one pair of factor. So we can just fix the position. Okay, I can put the three in front. Up to us. Okay, it's our preference. Next, second step, look at 16. Okay, what are the factors of 16? 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 3 cannot, 4 times 4. Now, we have to combine with our factors from the x square. Then only we can, the third step, then only we can plus the, plus the result. So let's try one by one. 1 and 16. Let's put it here. 1 and 16. Okay, inner pair is 1x. Outer pair is 48x. Okay, once you're fast enough, you can choose not to check inner pair and outer pair. You can see it right away that 116 is not the answer because we want our uh, product, uh, the, uh, sorry, not product, the sum. We've got to plus them. Okay, let's write it here. We need to plus the, uh, the terms uh, so that we get 14. So this one definitely more than 14. So this is out. Let's swap the place. 16 and 1. So inner pair, we've got 16x. Outer pair, I have 3x. Oh, cannot because I want 14. 16x already out. <clears throat> Too much. So now we can cancel off 1 and 16. Let's put 2 and 8 in. <clears throat> so in, check inner pair, 2x. Outer pair, 24x. Oh, too big. All right. The sum definitely more than 14. So this is not the factor. Erase it. So when you try this one, you have to use pencil, okay? So that you can erase it and redo many times. 3x times 2 is 6x. So now what are we going to do with this? We are supposed to plus them. So 8x plus 6x, 14x. This is what we want. Yes, so this is what we want. The fifth step, I want positive 14. So both must be positive. Then only we can get positive 14x. So put positive here, positive there. That's it. This is our factorization. Yes, we have to try one by one, two and four. Okay, next, 6x squared and minus 6. Okay, the x squared definitely is the, is the x and x. Okay, just that the uh, factors of 6 is 1 and 6, 2 and 3. This one also the same thing, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. So now I have 2. What am I going to do with this? So let's put 1 and 6. Fix the position of my x squared first. Now I try with the first set of factors. If I put 1 here, 6 here. What are we supposed to do with our inner pair and the outer pair? Yeah? This is the third step, right? We've got to minus them. So we have to minus them. You remember to minus them. Huh? So 6x and 6x. If I minus it, it becomes 0, but I want 5. So cannot. This is out. So let's try to swap it. If I put 6 here, 1 there. 6, 6, 36. 36 is just way too far from 5, so definitely not. So then move on to the 2 and 3. So let me put the 2 here, the 3 there. So the inner pair will be 12x. The outer pair will be 3x. And I minus it. Do I get 5? 12 and 3, the difference is 9. So it's not, not applicable. So now I swap the 3 and 2. Eh? Swap the place. 3 and 2. Now I don't have to continue. Uh, sorry, I have to. Eh? 3 times 6 is 18. 2 times x is 2. So uh, 18 and 2 is just, just too far away to get 5. So the 3, 2 here is not workable. That means 1, 6 does not match with the 1, 6 and 2, 3 at the back. So that means for my x squared, 1, 6 cannot be the factors. Then we have to try the second set, 2, 3. So when I try the second set, 2, 3, I'm going to put here 2. Then I got to put here uh, 3x. Now, again, I have, to, I have to try one by one. The 1, 6 first. So put 1 here, 6 there. The inner pair is 3x. The outer pair is 12x. What are we supposed to do with it? We minus them. It will not give me 5. So this one is out. Let's move 6 and 1. Swap place. This is 18x. And the outer pair is 2x. 
Again, when you minus, you will not get 5x. So this is out also. Now, 1, 6 is out. Test with 2, 3. Let's put 2 here, 3 there. Inner pair, 2 times 3 is 6x. The outer pair is also 6x. 6x minus 6x, I'll get 0. This is not what I want. So this is not the position. So 3, 2. Inner pair, 9x. Outer pair, 4x. And 9x minus 4x, I got 5x. Great. This is what I want. Now, I want negative 5x. That means negative must go to the big terms. Positive go to the smaller term. Then only the difference will give us negative 5x. So now, in order for us to get negative 9x, put negative here and put positive here. So that's it. We have just factorized. Now, we are a bit unlucky here because we have to try so many times. Okay, but that is the only way. Of course, you can use the method uh, like this, the cross multiple, but it's the same concept as this. It's even more messy if you use this. Okay, that's why I only use the two bracket method. Yeah? And then adjust from there. So now, you may want to try. Okay, first step. The x definitely is there. So let's just write the x first. Just that, the x squared, the coefficient is 8. So how do I get 8? So 1, 8, 2, and 4. So again, I have two uh, set of factors for my x squared. And for 9, I have only, I have two also, 1 and 9, 3 and 3. Uh, so we got to test. So in order for me to test, in order for things to get easy, maybe we set, uh, never mind, let's start with this one first, 1, 8. So 1x and 8x. Then we try 1, 9. And what are we supposed with the, uh, pro, uh, the terms, uh, the, the product of the terms later? We've got to plus it. So put here, plus them. So the inner pair is 8x and 9x. After we plus, it's 17x, but we want 18x. So this one is out. So if I swap the place of 9 and 1, it will be too much because 9 times 8 is already 72, way more than 18. So 9 and 1 is not here. Definitely it's not here. So we can just cross it. Left with 3 and 3. Okay, inner pair is 24x. Oh, definitely it's not because when we plus, we want to get 18. This is already more than 18. So no, it's out. That means I have tried 3, 3, also cannot. That means my first set of 1, 8 is not the factors. Let's try with 2, 4. Okay, let's try with 2, 4. So we have 2x and 4x. Now let's try with 3, 3 because 3, 3, we don't have to sort. Huh? So we save our time. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12x. And then 2 times 3 is 6x. So these two terms, we plus them. Do I get back 18? Yes, I want positive 18. That means both must be positive. Same sign, find the sum. So we have positive here and positive here. Therefore, our factorization is correct. Next, you try this on your own. First, we start with x and x. The two, we have only one factors that is 1 and 2 or you want to put 2 1 also can so 2x times x then you can pause this video and try to factorize this on your own all right so this is the second step 15 okay 1 15 3 and 5 so which one we have to plus the mere yeah? plus the factors so let's put uh, we want it to be negative uh, we want it to be 13x so which one will give us 13 Maybe I put here 5. I try with this 5 and 3 because I foresee my inner pair and outer pair to have the combination of uh, 10 and 3. So 3x. 2x times 5 got 5x. Oh, sorry, 10x. And what are we supposed to do with these two terms? We plus them. So isn't it 3x plus 10x? We get 13x and this is what we want. And we want it to be negative 13. That means sum of same sign. Then only we can find the sum. So both must be negative. So negative here, negative there. So that's it. We have done our 
factorization. So that's it for this type of factorization. Okay, you can try more um, uh, drilling on this kind of factorization. Or you can visit my uh, next video on different kind of uh, uh, drilling on this, especially on this AX squared plus BX plus C type of factorization. So thank you very much. I'll see you then.